This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Manny Pacquiao is now going to be running for president of the Philippines. Uh, that'll be crazy. Uh, well, he's 42. He's only 42? Okay. What it do? Okay, so anyways, uh, run for the presidency of Philippines. Nominated by a candidate in the fracture. Da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't understand their politics. But anyways, he's running to be president. This is uh, Pacquiao went on to say, your time is up. You had your chance, but you failed us. We waited a long time. Decades have passed, but nothing has happened. All right, so we'll see. <laughs> All right. But Young Blue stays in some stuff with his uh, baby mother, but this is normal. This happens. Uh, you know, he's being accused of stalking her. Uh... He put up text messages between her and him, and they can't really get along. He doesn't want to be around her. She keeps suggesting they come together for their child, for his birthday parties and everything, which I could agree with, but I don't know their situation. You know, it, it seems like it gets very public. Uh, I remember when he said his son was missing because she she had, uh, it was her day to have him, but she, he, she didn't return his son on time. Because, yeah, I think he has full custody. Which says a lot. It, it, it's hard for a man to get full custody of their child. Uh, it says a lot about. Um, it says a lot about uh, a woman or somebody else when they don't get custody of their child. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry, just a woman. A woman's usually always awarded uh, custody of the child. It's just how it works. Um, so if they don't get custody, I don't know. It's a little spooky. Um, but anyways, you know, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to judge the situation. I don't know it. It's just very public, you know. Sears. Oh, it's over. Uh, Sears will close its last department store this fall. Now, they do own another company. I forget the name of it. It's like a company that sells like uh, dented appliances. I forget the name of it. It's a good place to go pick up. A new appliance that has a little dent in the side that you could just you put the refrigerator against if it's against the cabinet or it's against the wall you're not going to see the dent on the side i forget the name of that company but uh yeah i bought i almost bought a microwave from there when my micro see i bought a new mic well, who cares about my microwave i almost went there once but anyways uh crazy sears used to dominate appliance stores everything they were like it uh, Sears started to go out, I guess, in the eighties. We'll, we'll do something on on that other channel that I did, you know, that I'm creating the the um, the money channel. That's linked below. Make sure you subscribe to it because once I start going crazy on that, you know, you you want to get that. That's just stuff. That's just good to know about. Sears used to be everything. It started like I think eighty to hundred years ago. I don't know, like seventy years ago. I don't know. They had a catalog. People used to order everything off of that. Sears and Roebuck. That's what it was called. Uh, JT of the City Girls might be pregnant. People say that that's a morning sickness bracelet on her, and they say she's showing at a at a show. If if so, congrats to her and uh, Uzi. Brittany, uh, Brittany Renner's out here trolling. She's looking. She says, hide your sons. I'm out here looking for another catch. She's crazy. Soldier Boy says, I was the first rapper with a skate park at his mansion. Ain't sorry. Little Wayne had a skate park at the top of his mansion. And he actually owns a warehouse that is a skate park. So, Soldier Boy, stop. It's it's getting old, buddy. Yeah, you know, we we need a new saying now. We need we need a new no a new one a new new. And Miss T, who uh, you know she stays in the mix with the the Alpo stuff. So I guess she's friends with Alpo. Uh, Alpo living his best life. You live yours. Yeah, people really do get obsessed with this Alpo thing. Uh, I know the story. He's never told his side of the story. Uh, plus, as Miss, T I watched her video. She's because people were saying they that he yeah she discussed them because he she hangs out with Alpo. Listen, man, if people were so angry about Alpo, 
do something. He's 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 riding motorcycles in Harlem. He's jumping out of planes, skydiving. He's eating at the finest eateries in New York City. He doesn't care, okay? And people seem to care a lot about him. And they care. They have very big opinions. Uh, they want to, you know, it's just like, this doesn't affect you. It affects uh, Rich Porter's family, AZ, a lot of people in Harlem, you know. It's just like, dude, I don't get these people. They 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 get really, really. And these are people that probably like. Listen, I don't condone snitching, but I'm not in that street life, man. I know there's morals, principles. Everybody should live with morals and principles. Period. Right? Some people don't. A lot of people don't. Some of your favorite rappers have no morals and principles. They'll cut off the person that helped them become a millionaire. I've seen it. I've been cut off. <laughs> and I've helped people get into positions to become millionaires. Okay? A lot of people lack morals and principles, period, man. But uh, he is writing a book. Alpo is writing a book, according to Miss T. I would read that book. And I think a lot of people would read that book. And I think that book would be turned into something else. No wonder he didn't do any interviews or anything. He's saving it all for the book. I think that's smart. Anyways, also people were saying, Jim Jones said he's the ghost of Rich Porter. But they're like, he's not doing anything. Wouldn't a ghost come back and terrorize somebody? He hasn't said a peep. There was rumors that he was at a birthday party, but then they quickly denounced that. Uh... I don't know, man. What did somebody say? Where's the guy that calls himself the ghost of Rich Porter? I thought ghosts come back to hunt the killers. <laughs> Is Poe officially king of Harlem? That's a good question. That is a good question. Anyways. Come on, Jim Jones. Say something, man. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tao with JT News, and I will check you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll check you later. Peace.